हेलो एंड वॉम वेलकम टू योर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल दैट इज प्रवीण सर्स प्रेप विन आई सी एस सी ऑल माई चैम्पियंस हु आर गोइंग टू राइट देअर बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन केमिस्ट्री पेपर विथ इन फ्यू आवर्स फॉर फ्रॉम नाव आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेडिक्ट सम क्वेश्चन फॉर यू फॉर युअर केमिस्ट्री पेपर इन दिस वीडियो विच इज कॉल्ड मिड नाइट प्रेडिक्शन केमिस्ट्री सो यर वी गो विथ आर चैप्टर नंबर वन दैट इज मेटलर्जी फ्रॉम फर्स्ट चैप्टर मेटलर्जी आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेडिक्ट फाइव क्वेश्चन येस फाइव क्वेश्चन which has a high chance high probability of being asked in the examination you can expect one of these two definitions either a definition of metallurgy or definition of ore so learn these definitions properly also ores of aluminium and alloy of aluminium you must know the name of the ore and name of the alloy along with its molecular formula that is my prediction number 2 prediction number 3 is related to the reaction in the extraction of aluminium one is the reaction involved in bayer's process here there are three chemical reactions i have covered this in one of my videos please watch that video if you are not clear about it if not this reaction this is sure shot reaction at the cathode and anode and prediction number 4 is the constituent of electrolyte in hall's herold process so here we use this three chemical compounds their name their molecular formula and the weight percentage by weight in which they are used this is very very important moving on to last prediction last question from this chapter is related to give reasons one of these four give reasons will definitely find a place in your examination paper next chapter for semester 2 chemistry is hydrogen chloride from this chapter also i am going to make five predictions prediction number 1 is the questions regarding the laboratory preparation of hydrogen chloride gas with reference to the chemical reaction then precautions what precautions you need to take while preparing hydrogen chloride then method of collection and confirmatory test prediction number 2 is related to the fountain experiment of hydrogen chloride what is the color of the fountain what is the property of a gas what conclusion you derive about the property of gas through this experiment and the other gas there is one more gas along with hcl which shows the same property and which is there that gas definitely that gas is ammonia prediction number 3 is regarding the funnel arrangement while preparing hydrochloric acid this funnel arrangement use of this funnel arrangement is to prevent the back suction and prediction number 4 very 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 important without these chemical reactions and observations your chemistry paper is incomplete what happens when you react hydrochloric acid with sulfide sulfide second one is sulfide only one letter difference between these two d and t when you react hydrochloric acid with metal sulfide you get a gas which gives out a rotten egg smell yes hydrogen sulfide gas and with metal sulfide hydrochloric acid produces so2 gas sulfur dioxide gas which turns potassium dichromate from orange to green color then reactions of hydrochloric acid with carbonates hydroxide and nitrite 
all questions are equally important okay all five are equally important and i want to make a special prediction prediction number five a sure shot question a hundred percent question a unique reaction chemical reaction of hydrochloric acid with manganese dioxide i have given answer also please go through this answer this question i feel is a sure shot question in your chemistry paper which you are going to write within few hours from now right and also one very important instruction that is whenever you write about acid you have to mention which acid you are using dilute or concentrated if you don't mention dilute or concentrated acid you are going to lose marks so please make sure that you write this properly third chapter from chemistry syllabus for semester 2 examination is ammonia from this chapter i am going to make three important predictions so let's see what is prediction number one again laboratory preparation of ammonia chemical reactions between the reactants to get the product question regarding that then drying agent use name of the drying agent method of collection of gas how do you confirm it is an ammonia gas and this question is very important this can be asked in a form of a give reason ammonium nitrate or any other metal nitrate can also be used in preparation of ammonia but they are not used why because of what their explosive nature and because they are expensive please remember these reasons moving on to prediction number two again it is related to fountain experiment of ammonia earlier it was fountain experiment of hcl now fountain experiment of ammonia questions are almost same color of the fountain which you get then property of a gas and the other gas we all know which exhibits the same property and the last prediction is regarding the reaction involved in the industrial preparation answer is Haber's process and along with this in industrial preparation there is a reaction now what is the temperature or the optimum temperature for that reaction what is the pressure required which is the catalyst and the promoter used in this reaction this question is very very important please make sure that again you don't enter the examination hall without knowing the answers of these questions and finally observations and chemical reactions of ammonia what happens when ammonia reacts with chlorine gas and when chlorine is in excess and when ammonia is in excess both the times reaction is different product is different when chlorine is in excess you get nitrogen trichloride and observation is an oily yellowish liquid and when ammonia is in excess you get dense white fumes of ammonium chloride NH4Cl and burning of ammonia burns with a yellowish green flame what happens when ammonia react with a dilute acid so this reaction is a combination reaction a plus b gives you a b and reaction of ammonia with copper oxide you get a product which is reddish brown in color which is that product product no2 after making important predictions from these chapters let's move on to the next chapter which is nitric acid from this chapter i am going to make three important predictions prediction number one is the questions regarding the laboratory preparation of the nitric acid so question related to the chemical reaction involved in the laboratory preparation is always important followed by precautions why temperature is always kept below 200 degree celsius method of collection and very important that is color question related to color of nitric acid is very very important when you obtain a pure nitric gas in laboratory it is colorless but when it is exposed to sunlight or heat 
it becomes slightly yellow that is a reason it is kept in a colored bottle and the last one that is identification by means of brown ring test what is the name of this brown product or the molecular formula of this brown product it is feso4.no please remember this product also next important question is regarding the large scale production of nitric acid that is industrial preparation what is the name of the process what is this process called answer is oswald's process then when the reactants are reacting with one another what is the ratio of the reactants then catalyst used and the temperature these three conditions are very very important this was prediction number 2 and in prediction number 3 there are these two reactions you will get one of these two reactions in your examination in observation or in chemical reactions of nitric acid metals reacting with cold and dilute nitric acid your product is nitric oxide no you will write observation according to this then metal reacting with this time concentrated nitric acid your product is nitrogen dioxide you know how to write the observation color of the gas reddish brown and after this three prediction predictions let us move on to the next chapter that is sulfuric acid from this chapter also i am going to make three important predictions prediction number 1 is the name of the process of industrial preparation of sulfuric acid this process is called the contact process right no laboratory preparation or method of the lab preparation of sulfuric acid only industrial preparation and this question is very very important a reaction between sulfur dioxide and oxygen what is the name of the process what is the catalyst used and what is the equation and what is the output these questions are equally important finally learn the molecular formula of oleum given in the bracket also do you know the molecular formula of sodium thiosulfate please learn this as well and the common name of sulfuric acid common name is yes oil of vitriol then question number 2 is regarding observations and chemical reactions this asterisk mark asterisk mark means sure shot question this is a sure shot question either in a form of a observation or in a form of a chemical reaction it is highly probable that chemical reaction will be asked regarding dehydration property of sulfuric acid what happens when you add sulfuric acid or put a sulfuric acid on a sugar right or reaction with a glucose then dehydrating property with a blue vitriol that is blue crystal of copper sulfate so blue color changes to white and then oxidizing property that is reaction with non metal with carbon and sulfur these three reactions are very very important first to so definitely will come out of other two either one or both can come in the examination and last is the non volatile nature of a sulfuric acid so question regarding the non volatile nature of sulfuric acid can be asked a great chance of this question being asked in the examination last chapter is organic chemistry not only i enjoyed predicting this questions but also i am sure that all of these questions are going to come in the examination first prediction is iupac names these questions will be for 3 marks three structures will be given and you need to write the iupac name of those three structures and next is the structural formula maybe name will be given and you need to write the structural formula also the condensed formula can be asked and weightage will be around 6 to 8 marks overall 
then one or more definitions will be asked. First one is the catenation, second one is the homologous series and third one is isomer or isomerism. Right? Then reactions, type of reaction exhibited by alkanes. Alkanes undergo substitution reaction and alkenes and alkynes, they undergo addition reaction. A must question, a sure shot question, a hundred percent question. Then chemical reaction of alkanes with air. When, you, when any organic compound is burned, two products are fixed. That is carbon dioxide and water. And how do you balance? Balance these reactions. Balancing is not at all easy. Your regular hit and trial method that does not work here. So I have made a video on balancing chemical equation. I hope you all have seen that video. So balance the reaction of alkanes with air using my method that is LCM method. Then reaction of alkanes with chlorine to form carbon tetrachloride chloride, that is the four step reaction. Then halogenation of alkenes and alkyne is again a must question. So these were all my predictions for your chemistry paper. Chemistry paper which you are going to write at 11 o'clock today. Right? So, from my side, best of luck for your chemistry paper. See you all in the next video which will be related to your next biology paper. So, till we meet again, best of luck.